Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Word 2011 for Mac. Table cell alignment with tabs and indents. Here's the scenario. You have a table with text and numbers that you would like to format with tabs and indents. Watch this video to learn how to do this. After you create a table and your cursor is in the table, the table layout tab is available on the ribbon. In the rows and columns tab, you can insert rows above and below your cursor position. You can insert columns to the left or the right of your cursor position. When you click the down arrow here, you can also delete either cells, rows, columns, or an entire table. You can highlight cells and the merge option is active. You can split cells or split a table at a certain point. While you're in the table, you can auto fit the contents of the columns. Auto fit to window. We'll spread your table to each margin, or you can have all the columns to a fixed width. This selection will close the columns up to fit the contents. You can distribute the rows or columns to be the same size, but it will only distribute the rows or columns that you have highlighted. So if you only want certain rows or certain columns to be distributed evenly, highlight only those sections. If you want to highlight the entire table, click this icon. You can vertically and horizontally align each cell to be displayed at the top, bottom, center, and either left, right, or center when you click this down arrow. If I wanted this cell to be vertically and horizontally centered, I would select this option. You can also change the direction of your text. So if you had a table with a lot of columns, but your header text is too long, you can change the direction of the text to save space. Just highlight the text, click this drop down to change the direction. If you need to extend the row, hover over the bottom line in that row and drag it to close up the columns. If you want to close them up all at once, highlight the entire table. Double click on a line between the columns. To maneuver in a table, that is to go from cell to cell, just hit the tab key. However, to tab over within a cell, you'll need to hold the control key down and press the tab key. Since there are default tabs set up when you open a new document, the tab will default to that setting. If you would like to set the position of the tab, you must have the ruler displayed. If the ruler is not displayed, go to View Ruler. On the ruler, you can see the margins of each column. Hover over one of these and drag it and move the column to your specification. If you don't have any cells highlighted, it will move the entire column. If you have cells highlighted, it will only move those particular cells. In this area, you can change the type of tab you want to set. We have the left, center, right, decimal, and bar tabs. I'll put a left tab in this cell. So I just click on the ruler. Now to move the text to that tab, I put my cursor before the text and I hit control tab. And the text will align to that position. I can put my cursor on the tab and drag it to the new position in the cell. If you do not highlight all the cells for which you would like at the same tab position, then only that cell will have a tab available. So to have all the cells in the column at the same alignment, highlight the cells, and with the left tab selected, click on the ruler. Now go to each cell and hit Control Tab to move the text to that selection and tab position. However, if you try to move the highlighted text so if I highlighted this text and hit Control Tab, it will delete the text. Just click Undo. 
So make sure your text is not highlighted. Go Control Tab. To delete a tab from the ruler, just drag it off the ruler. So I want the tab to be deleted from all the highlighted cells. So I'll highlight the cells and I'll drag the tab off the ruler. Since that tab is no longer displayed and I hit Control Tab, I have to hit the backspace to go back to my original position. If you have a group of numbers with decimal tabs and you want to align them on the same decimal tab, highlight the cells and change this to a decimal and click on the ruler. Now the cells highlighted are aligned at the decimal point. You can use the decimal tab for dashes as well. Notice that when I click in a cell, there are indents on the ruler. The top one is the first line indent and the bottom one is the hanging or left indent. The hanging indent will work if you have text that wraps to the next line. How the hanging indent works independently from the first line indent. If I highlight the entire cell text and click on this little box at the bottom, both the first line indent and the hanging indent will move at the same time. Here's a hint. If you moved the indents in a cell, and then try to center align the text. It will be centered, but only between the indents and not within the margins of the column. So if I move these back over to the left, the text is now centered within the column. And that is the end of this lesson, table cell alignment with tabs and indents.